this video will cover holding down your finger swiping left right to rotate the turret and the fire rate shooting script okay now i will fast forward create a turret a prototype with a shooting point Okay, now this is our prototype turret. Now let's move on to the shooting script. Okay, the script will shoot a bullet each time we press a mouse button. Let's now switch back to Unity and prepare our bullet. I have a bullet from previous tutorial, so I will just visit the position change the material to red so one of the most important things is that the bullet should have a rigid body and a collider on it next thing what we would like to have is a trail to make it look a little bit nicer so i will just create a trail as a child object and adjust the settings so that it fits my needs so change the color to red and also add a new key point so that at the end of the trail it's going to zero and also at the beginning we need to make it a lot smaller so each time you change something you can move the trail back and forth so that to see the effect so if you are happy with your adjustments just save the bullet as prefab Go to our bullet script and attach it as prefab. And there is one more thing what I have forgotten to add is a shooting point. So the point where the bullet should be instantiated and so the starting point. So let's add a new variable here. and replace it here on this line so that's fine now go to our shooting point and assign it as reference so now each time i click the mouse it's shooting a bullet which is fine just one setting is missing and it's on the bullet itself because the bullet is too fast we need to change the collision detection but first let's change our shooting script i would like to shoot while holding down the finger so that i don't need to click each time to shoot one bullet okay now when i click and hold it's shooting so that's fine, only let's fix the collision detection. So on the bullet itself, on the rigid body component, you will find the settings, collision detection, and change it to continuous dynamic. So when I touch and hold, it shoots, and now it's colliding with the obstacles, and also the wall, which is great. So next step will be to create a script to rotate the torrent. So so left click create new script. So in the applet method we are checking for any touch input and if you are moving a finger in the x direction we'll use the delta to rotate the y position of the transform. What I'm using here, the input wrapper, is just some local function which is converting mouse clicks on the editor to touch position. But if you test this on a mobile phone, it will be fine. 
Okay, now when I'm touching and holding and moving the mouse left right, it rotates the turret. So thanks for watching and I hope it helps you. Bye.